Hello, good evening fish keepers. This is Danny with Danny Aquatics. Today we're in our bedroom with uh, looking at our 150 gallon uh, freshwater tank with mostly uh, South American cichlids. And uh, let me show you what we got. Let me turn this camera around real quick. All right guys, <clears throat> this is one of the longest cycle tank that we have in our home and in the fish room. This one's got about, I would say, right at two years. And um, it's 150 gallon and uh, well established tank. Cycled perfectly, never had any problems, knock on wood, on this tank. The perimeter, water perimeters have always been right where they need to be. It's not overstocked. I have like, uh, let me see, two turquoise several. I have a uh, Geophagus Belzani in the back there. And uh, I've got two gold severums, a male and a female. And I've got five denison barbs. Those guys are about right at almost four inches long now. <clears throat> and then I got three silver dollars. I had five or six of them in here when I uh, cycled my tank, my 330 gallon tank. I moved three of these silver dollars from here out to the other tank. And then later on purchased two more since the tank was so big. So I have five total in the 330 gallon tank. So no live plants in this. All these plants come from Hobby Lobby. And I think they look pretty cool. I like them. You got to just do a cleaning on them about every... This tank here, I'll do it about maybe every two months. Because I don't get hardly any kind of accumulated algae or anything growth going on them so and I've got two rainbow sharks back there this is one of the big ones he's probably pushing at least five inches long the other one is pretty small it's still about three inches I'm not sure it might be the male and the other one is a female but they've never took into spawning or mating together so I'm not really sure but you can't keep two of them. I've, I've heard that you only need one in the tank because they uh, will basically kill the other one. But they've been hanging around together, you know, pretty good while. And can't see them anywhere. I don't see them. I have three rubber lips in here. Plucos. And they're always hiding. Sometimes they're stuck to the glass up here. <laughs> There's something else. And I've got two silver uh, grommies, the uh, three spotted grommies. Those guys are about four inches long. They've gotten pretty big. I bought those things, they were about like one inch long. And I have two electric blue caras. I guess he's napping right now. <clears throat> but the main interest is these guys here again. These guys have been at it for probably over a month and a half. And this one, I'm assuming he's a turquoise serum. He changes his color. He, he'll get dark. And he kind of looks like a green serum. But uh, she's a gold serum. And if you notice here, this they planted some more eggs on this rock. And they're nursing it. So there's only about 20. I'm not sure if she's going to be laying any more eggs on there. So it'll be interesting to see what comes of this and they're they're learning as I go I guess because I know they've laid eggs on this this rock here probably about three times already but I haven't seen no uh, no fry come from it and it could be because there's maybe some of the other fish are just eating the eggs so we'll see it'd be interesting to see it you know the little fry coming from this I'm not sure what color they would be because I thought she would have taken to this guy here. But no, she, t she took the, uh, the turquoise serum. <laughs> but uh, all in all, this is our 150. And this camera does not do this tank justice because it is super clear. It's always a haze. I think it's the light inside the tank that gives it this haze color because of the uh, back the black background on this tank 
So all, all my tanks have a black background. Okie dokie guys. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. I just got off of work. I'm fixing to go eat some supper. And uh, these guys are already fed. So it is a little cloudy. Not much, but they've already eaten. Like I said, these guys eat before I do. So I try to take care of my fish and uh, make sure they have a good diet. This guy is something else. He's starting to get his little hump on his forehead. They get a pretty bulgy hump after they get a little older. So, all right, guys, we'll get back with y'all with uh, more fish stories and more progress. And uh, y'all have a wonderful day. And this is Danny, the Danny Aquatics. If y'all haven't uh, subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the like button, guys. It really, we really appreciate it. it. Makes me, it means a lot. And if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If you have any uh, questions, we'll try to answer them. So y'all have a great one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. This is Danny with Danny Aquatics. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day, guys. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.